Hi everyone, I'm Nadia and in today's video I'm doing a custom order of Flamingo Resin Coasters. I did in the past do a Flamingo Resin Tray and if you haven't seen that video I'll leave it linked above. After I mix my Part A and Part B resin together, I pour it into separate cups. So this was a custom order on a set of 6 and I decided to make an extra set of 4 which will be listed in my Etsy store so I'm making 10 in total. And I'm using Casting Crafts White Pigment. I'm using Resin by Deepon and I'll leave a link to it in my description. Then I start to pour my clear resin into the molds. I also have links to all of the products that you see in this video, so be sure to check that out as well. And I'm pouring a very small amount because I'm going to be doing this in several layers, so I want my first layer to be thin. And I use a silicone makeup brush to help spread the resin to the edges of the molds. I use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and I always move my torch gun very quickly so that I don't burn my resin or my molds. Then I start adding in my white pigment into the molds and I want to achieve a wispy effect so I'm using my wooden stick and dragging the white pigmented resin into the clear resin. and I come back the next day once the first layer has hardened. I have a cup full of pink tinted broken shells and broken glass pieces and this is left over from the last time I made flamingos. I used pink mica powder to tint my shells and I started to just pour some into each mold. and I used my silicone makeup brush to help shape them into flamingos. I also poured a little bit too many shells into each mold, so I also removed some. And for their wings, I'm using shells that I collected at the beach. And I moved around my pink shells so that this shell could lay flat onto the first layer of resin so that it bulges as little as possible. Then I did some touch-ups. And I'm using these broken shell pieces to make their legs. and I use a thin wooden stick to help shape them. And I previously separated some black rocks that were in the shape of a beak. For the eyes, I'm using small, rounded black rocks. Once I'm happy with the way that they look, I start to mix in my Part A and Part B resin once more to seal everything in. If you do decide to give this a try, I would love to see your attempt and any possible twists that you may add on to it. Be sure to tag me on Instagram, Summer Girl Designs. I pour it into a smaller cup, 
so that I can have more control while pouring and also mix a bit more just to make sure that my resin is properly mixed. Then I start to pour into the molds and I'm pouring very slowly so that I don't move anything around. If anything moves out of place, I just move it back with my wooden stick. I mix together some gold leaf flakes and a very small amount of resin. And carefully add it onto the bottom of the molds. And here I am the next day demolding. Now I'm mixing together my top coat and if you're interested in exactly how I do my top coat, I'll leave a video linked above. And while I'm top coating, I like to use Honey Resin by Deep Pond, and again, I'll have links in my description if you want to try it out for yourself. I pour my resin onto each coaster and carefully with a silicone makeup brush, spread the resin to the very edge and make sure that every area has been covered. And with a gold adding marker, I add a gold trim. I usually add several layers, especially if the marker is coming to the end of its life. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.